I find that the, the trappings of beauty that I'm employing in the work become the moment to lure the person in. If they uh, spend a little bit more time in the looking, that the work begins to reveal itself um, in complicated ways. I consider myself a painter. I think it just has a lot to do with the way I was formally trained. When I was in undergrad, I was attempting to make a painting that was very classically inclined. And um, I had a professor, he came in and he said, Ebony, is this really what you want to do? <laughs> this is torture. <laughs> and he walked off, you know? And I was like, he's right. <laughs> it is torture. I don't want to do this. As much as there is all of this weight in the conversations that I am having when making the work, for me there, is, there are even greater acts of pleasure. But it is the joy in doing, in making, in discovering. That's the place that I sit when I'm making. So more recently, um, the images that I've been uh, using to make my own wallpapers are based on photographs that I've taken when I've gone home to Jamaica. I go up in the hills, I go driving through the mountains. It's my happy place, but it's also a place where I get to think about the relationship to land, um, thinking about the garden in a, in a kind of like untouched space, uh, or thinking about it as a kind of Eden-esque place. So I see the, the, the titles as an opportunity to complicate viewing and to push the viewer a little further in stretching the way they think. When somebody says to me like, oh, tell me what your work is about, my response is always, well, tell me what you think it's about. I'm not concerned with finish. I'm concerned with resolve because I think like finish also suggests completeness. For me, making art is a way of like my trying to understand things. In the understanding, I only seek deeper understanding, so more questions come from me. One might look at works and go, you know, like, oh, there's, you know, like it's a little difficult for them to see this kind of continuing thread. But sometimes for me, it, it is just the same thread. I haven't even gotten to the full sweater, but I'm turning that thread ever so slightly and thinking about how could I shift this a little further? How do I um, push the audience a little further? How do I make this even more seductive, but even in its seduction, find ways to make it even more uncomfortable? What it means to win, win the Driscoll Prize, it means a lot to be acknowledged in this way. Anytime I, I get any kind of acknowledgement, um, even, even more so an acknowledgement that comes with uh, a monetary award, a seed that says we want to invest further in the expansion of your practice is deeply humbling and moving, especially in a time that I felt so uncertain about what I was doing. To me, it was like a sense of communal affirmation, you know, that the community says, actually, we think that you're doing quite a bit.